Welcome to Zaragoza. Located in northeastern Spain, in the Aragon region, this city is packed with history that includes Roman emperors, Aragon kings, and Moorish monarchs. Zaragoza is connected to Barcelona and Madrid by the country's high-speed trains, the Aves, making it very easy to reach and to visit as an addition to your other travels around Spain. Welcome to Zaragoza, the fifth largest city in Spain. I'm here for the next couple of days to explore, to eat tapas, and to check out these incredible churches. So, let's go. Originally named Caesar Augusta by the Romans in the first century BC, Zaragoza has tons of Roman ruins to explore and that you can see on a single ticket which can be purchased at any of the sites. The different sites include the Roman walls of Zaragoza, which are in the Caesar Augustus Plaza, the Roman Theater and Museum, the Roman Baths, and the Roman Forum. Once you finish at the Forum, you'll be close to several of the other incredible sights to see in Zaragoza. Just around the corner from the Forum is the Cathedral del Salvador de Zaragoza, also referred to as El Seo. Originally the site of a mosque during the Moorish occupation, the building has seen many renovations and rebuilds over the centuries to combine mudejar, Romanesque, and Gothic styles. Take a nice stroll from La Seo through the Plaza del Pilar to the Basilica de Nuestra Señora del Pilar, or El Pilar for short. It's believed that the cathedral was built in the very location that the Virgin Mary appeared to St. James the Apostle atop a pillar of jasper. That very pillar of jasper is housed inside the cathedral in an elaborate silver case with a sculpture of Mary and the baby Jesus atop it. For the best views of the basilica, walk across the Puente de Piedra and look back over it across the Ebro River. For some more fantastic Roman history, the Museum of Zaragoza is a must visit. The museum is completely free to visit and houses some of the most precious ruins that were found at the different sites around the city, including incredibly well-preserved mosaics and pottery. It's also a good place to come to see some paintings by Goya, one of Spain's most celebrated artists. He was born not far from Zaragoza, and while there is a stunning Goya museum worth visiting, this is the place you can see some of his work for free. If you really love Goya's work and you're not gonna get a chance to visit the Prado in Madrid, head to the Goya Museum located in the center of the city to explore more of his work. One of my absolute favorite things to do in Zaragoza that I highly recommend checking out is the Palacio de la Aljaferia. It's a fortified medieval palace that was built during the 11th century as a residence for the Banu Hud dynasty and is the only large, still-conserved example in Spain of Islamic architecture that was built during the Taifa period, when Al-Andalus had separate states. It is now home to the Parliament of Aragon, and on a tour of the building you can even have a walk through the parliamentary room. Tours are offered in English and Spanish several times a day, and they don't cost any extra on top of your entry ticket. You just have to check the website so that you time your visit to align with the time of the tour of your choice. Once you've explored the history and the architecture of Zaragoza, there's one more thing that you cannot miss, the food. Starting at the central market of Zaragoza, you can buy some fresh produce, cured meats, delicious local cheeses, or grab a beer at the bar and tapas section in the center of the market, which is open most days until midnight. By night, you can't miss the city's most famous tapas street, known locally as El Tubo. 
El Tubo is a collection of streets that intertwine in the center of the city, and they are packed to the brim with excellent tapas bars. Some of my personal favorites were Doña Casta, Bar El Champi, El Triana, and El Truco. Zaragoza surprised me so much. I was not expecting to fall in love with it so quickly, to love the food scene more than other parts of Spain that I visited in the past, and so very surprised by how much history is packed into this small city. I hope you enjoyed exploring a slice of Aragon with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel, and I will see you next time as I head further north into Spain to another amazing city.